this tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna show you um, the new bypass pin agent calibration uh, since from the cockpit when you after you push you perform the pushback there is a RAM agent that shows you the bypass pin after it has been removed from the nose wheel. In previous versions of uh, UGX uh, that was not possible. It was not possible to uh, calibrate the position of the bypass pin agent. So now from version 1.7 there is a new option that allows you to actually uh, calibrate that position per aircraft profile. Okay, we are going to begin. First of all, we are going to show the main menu then on options and then aircraft profile settings once there you wanna see um, some sliders in previous version you uh, was able to see the this slider which was the Marshall Air's uh, slider this slider is disabled when when the aircraft is outside of a parking spot in previous versions of the module, uh, the Marshall Air position was associated directly to the to each aircraft profile, which is not correct. Then we realized that uh, it's better to associate the Marshall Air position to the parking because that's the correct way to do it. So we deprecated the previous method, and we are just um, associating the Marshall Air position per parking profile okay um, also you're gonna see new this new sliders set of sliders uh, which control the bypass pin agent position okay first of all in the cockpit um, there will be situations where you are being pushed back from a parking that that you started from the left or from the right right and depending on on which position you came from uh, the module we're gonna use either a left position of the bypass pin agent or a right position of the bypass pin agent that's why in this case I'm gonna show you um, both both uh, bypass pin agents in front okay um, in this case in this case we see two bypass pin agents when you open the aircraft profile settings window uh, depending if you are outside of a parking spot you will gonna see two bypass pin agents I mean two agents ramp agents holding a bypass pin in their hands so basically you need to calibrate two positions for because um, when you see from the left of the cockpit is different from seeing the bypass pin bypass pin agent from the right side that's why there are two positions that you need to calibrate in this case, um, this two set of sliders controls the left side uh, bypass pin agent's posi position. In this case, we are going we are going to um, calibrate it. For example, this in this place the agent is too far away. Uh, we just make it more closer or um, modify the orientation. For example, here we can see the agent perfectly. So the module we're gonna, for example, if the parking where you be, you has been or you was pushed back uh, was in this side, the module we're gonna choose this position to show you the bypass pin. But if, for example, the parking was in this side and you end up in this direction, um, the normal place where the bypass pin agent should be in the right side 
that's why there is another position that you need to calibrate and for that there is two sets of sliders which control the orientation and the distance for this second bypass pin position and this also control the orientation and the distance for the left side but now we're gonna calibrate the right side for example here we just move as you can see the uh, other bypass pin agent position in this place is is a good place for place or calibrate the uh, bypass pin agent in this place. So now, uh, as I resume, you are gonna be able to see um, one bypass pin agent position on the left side and one in the right side. As you can see, different are different point of views where you have to be able to see the bypass pin agent holding the bypass pin. Uh, so that's it. When you are ready with the position that you want, you can save the settings to the aircraft profile and that's it. Um, if you want to recall it to see it that you actually save it, you can go over and you will see it in that position. So you need to make this calibration per aircraft just once because it is associated both positions, both bypass pin agent position, the left and the right, are associated to the same um, aircraft profile. So you not you just need to do this once. Save it. That's it. So when you perform a pushback, you wanna see be able to see the bypass pin agent. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.